working. Mm. I was preparing to be the first in my family to go to college. I've, mm. I've not only shamed her, but disappointed her. So how do you respond to that? And I said, no, the, the ball hit me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, mm. uh, but, but I would tell you that even by the time I came home with that black guy, all that other stuff had been happening for months. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So you talked about how women don't realize that they're in a, in an abusive relationship because all they know are abusive relationships. And I feel like um, a lot of times people don't notice that they're in an abusive relationship because they keep making excuses. A lot of times it's like, oh yeah, he just hit me once or maybe I provoked him or, so this is what I noticed that it's also a lot of, um, as you said, not trusting your own gut and also a lot of making excuses for an abusive partner. That is so true. And I think until we get real about that, hmm. you know, the, 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 the social conscious and political, correct political way to address this or say it is to say, oh, well, no, you know, that, you know, we don't want to re-victimize the victims. And you're absolutely hmm. right. I would never do that. Hmm. However, um, we also have to come to terms that many times, to your point, Beatrice, some women don't even realize they're being abused. Yeah. You know, not because that's their norm, but they just don't even realize it. They don't mm. even they don't even recognize it or they mm. might. Most people think abuse is just physical. Yeah. You know, and especially in a day and age in the culture we're living in now where we just turn on the music or whatever and we hear women being called all kinds of names and, you know, uh, this and that and sluts and this and all that, you know, that's, that's, that's cultural norm, mm. you know, that's our cultural mores now. And so, so when it, when it happens to us in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, um, personal or romantic relationship and the first time he says, a, you know, something to us that doesn't feel right, it's not that it doesn't feel right because I hear it all the time. I see it. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but then as we allow it to continue to perpetuate and we start not owning it and listening to that small, still voice in our gut, that is when we start to potentially be stuck in a situation that we don't even realize we're in. Yeah. So what are some, I mean, you answered some of it already, so, but what are some concrete things that we all, all of our listeners can do now about the situation <laughs> how can we show that we do more than just give a damn i think some concrete ways that we can do more than just give a damn and i'll talk about it from whether or not you are been affected by it um and what you can do as a survivor or victim and then what you can do mm -hmm. as a community member that want to make sure it doesn't happen to you your family your community or it might be happening and you want to you want to you want to do something. You want to take action. So as, as, as someone that's mm -hmm. in it, what I would say is first and foremost, find someone that you can trust, that you trust, that you can talk to. Because the first, mm -hmm. the first step towards healing is first coming to terms with yourself that you deserve better. And I know that's cliche is you deserve better. No, it's true. You do deserve better. Yeah. Right. And find someone, whether or not is a, a family member, a friend, a confidant. Do you know there are hotlines out there like um, the uh, National um, Domestic Violence Hotline, 1-800-799-SAFE, S-A-F-E, um, that people can reach out to um, and have a confidential conversation. You don't even have to reveal your name. You could just call and say, hey, I think, I think, even if you're not sure, I think this is something. I'm not sure what it is, but here's what's happening to me. Mm. Can you help me work through it? Right. So, mm -hmm. so that small step of just talking to someone can be that first step mm -hmm. that can lead you onto a path of healing and ultimately trying to honor yourself to get out of a situation that does not honor you. If you are in a community and you are someone, um, whether or not you want to um, prevent yourself or family or friends or or just want to do something, it doesn't have to be that you are 
connected to this in any kind of personal way, but you just want to don't just give a damn. Um, one of the things that we've done is on our website, we have also out, um, outlined a list of things that people can do to take action. Um, because that was something mm-hmm. that people said, you know, well, okay, I want to do some, but, but how do I do that? So there is on our website, um, a link that once you go to the don't just give a damn, um, website, um, is called, you know, how you can, um, how you can, um, um, take action and, um, and you click on that and there are different ways that you could do something. Like I said earlier, I named a few, you might just want to, you know, host mm-hmm. it. If you're, if you're, uh, you know, a woman, you might want to just have a, a meeting with your few friends and say, Hey, let's come together and talk about this. If you're a teacher, you can say, you know what, I want to educate my students about it. Um, if, if you're in the workplace, you might want to, you know, they have brown bag lunches that employees put on. Maybe invite a few people to a brown bag lunch. Reach mm-hmm. out to me. I'll come speak. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, yeah. And uh, you you can, you know, um, you can just go home and talk to your daughter about it. You know, mm-hmm. you were asking earlier, what is what is the appropriate age to start? I would say start as early as you think is that child can handle right? Mm. Age appropriate. If you're talking to a child that's eight years old, just use age appropriate language. You'll be surprised what these little eight, nine year olds know now. <laughs> mm-hmm. I think we're mm-hmm. not giving them credit. I think yeah. they know more than we think, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, promises with me right now and I am constantly having to check her iPad and I do find stuff. And I'm like, I, I am like flabbergasted. I'm like, oh my God, what are you doing looking at this? Because it's out there. So if we mm-hmm. don't teach them at home at an age appropriate age, at a younger age, trust me, society and social media will. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're going to mm-hmm. teach them who they should become. Right. Mm-hmm. And so doing something can just as simple as at the dinner table tonight, when I'm sitting down with my family or when I sit with my child, I'm like, over dinner, I'm just going to say, you know, over spaghetti, you know, hey, uh, Joey, what, uh, what do you know about boys and girls and the way that they talk to each other? You can, you don't have to say, you use words like domestic or sexual violence. Yeah. Yeah. You can just say, what do you know about boys and girls and the way they talk to each other? Or mm-hmm. what, what, what happens when, uh, so and so, did you ever see so and so hit a girl or did you ever see a girl hit a boy? What did you think about that? Hmm. You'd be surprised how that little conversation. In fact, we had a we launched, for example, um, and and I'll close on this, Beatrice. We launched um, um, we launched the Don't Just Give a Damn formally in October, um, and in recognition of Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Yeah. But we had a pre-launch of an event that we hosted here in D.C. and we invited some friends and family and community members, and one of the um um attendees was a young mother who brought her five-year-old son. Mm-hmm. And, and in fact, on our Instagram, you can see a picture of him and her together. Um, and she said when he came, he, he wanted to know where they were going. And so she told him, we're going to an event around talk, saving promise. And he was like, well, what is that? Why? What is, what is saving promise? And she told him what saving promise was. And, um, and he started asking questions he was engaging her because he wanted to know what this mm-hmm. was about. And by the end of that event, she came up to me and she said, you know, L.Y., my five-year-old son, who was sitting off in the corner because he was at the event with his iPad and playing games or whatever. She said he had a lot of questions and I felt good to answer them. Mm-hmm. So you invited me here tonight, gave me the first step towards talking to my, my five-year-old about it. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. So there are many things we can do. And I encourage yeah. each and every one of your audience members to please do that. It only takes a minute to, it mm-hmm. don't have to, we're not, we don't have to solve world hunger. We could just take one small step. Um, mm-hmm. Being that mother who talked to that five-year-old, talking to your child over dinner tonight, talking, you know, get together with some of your employees at work and go out to lunch together and talk about it. And then the three, all of you can write a, a, a poster and say, we don't just give a damn. We talked about it over lunch. It's mm-hmm. those small steps that we all can take. Mm-hmm. So just one more time, where do people find you on the Internet? 
So they can go to Saving Promise, savingpromise.org, and right at our website, they'll see the campaign called Don't Just Give a Damn. And we are really encouraging people to to take the pledge and send it to us. It takes a minute to snap a picture of yourself. And even if you don't want to show your face, you could just snap the picture of you holding a sign, right? Hmm. Um, and send it to us. And you send it to Don't Just Give a Damn at savingpromise.org. But on our website, there's a link that you just upload it. And so you can just go to the link on our website on that page on Don't Just Give a Damn. It'll be a simple link for you to upload your 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 photo. Very simple. Um, and, and then we ask you to just take the action. That's it. And then of course, share with your friends and family. Mm, awesome. Thank you so much, Elwa. You were an amazing guest. Thank you for your honesty and how Frank you talked about your experiences. It was amazing. Thank you so much. It was an honor. Likewise, Beatrice, always feel free to reach out. I really enjoyed talking to you today. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, Elwa, for the interview. And thank you, dear nasties, for listening to it. For the show notes to this episode and all the links we talked about, please go to our homepage, shehoopassisted.com. If you want to contact us, you can do that via shehoopassistedpodcast at gmail.com. But there is also a Facebook group, which is called Persisters, the She Who Persisted group. And that group tends to be a very good way of getting in contact with us. Also, there are other listeners of the show on there so we can discuss the topics that we talk about in the show we also have a facebook page we are on instagram where you can find the pics that we talk about in the episodes and we're on twitter at she persisted pod you can also support us on patreon patreon.com slash she who persisted please note that we will take a break until the beginning of March. We won't publish new episodes until then. However, that does not mean that we will be lazy because we will be researching and preparing and recording a bunch of episodes in the meantime because, as promised in the last episode, there will be a few changes to the podcast. Until then, stay nasty. Wherever you fall on the hair spectrum from bare to full, Fur provides natural care to hydrate skin, soften hair, and eradicate ingrowns from head to toe. Fur works with dermatologists and gynecologists on each product to take great care of hair and the skin that surrounds it. Whether you choose to keep it all, wax, shave, trim, buzz, or laser. And if you're interested in purchasing any fur products, you can check out their website, furyou.com, which is F-U-R-Y-O-U.com, and get 50% off with the code PERSIST15. 